Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing class of 1812 by Gottlieb today at Rec Bar A12 in Southern Indiana. Please look for our review under the description of our YouTube video. Now let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, uh, class of 1812 for its day is actually very well put together. A lot of collectors still look for this game to try to purchase. Uh, play is actually very fun and it's stacked for what it is. As you can see the ball coming in through the top, there's a lock uh, to the left, which is too crypt. And that's where it went, kicks out your columns, straight down your pop bumpers. Uh, flipper gap's not too bad on this thing, in lane to the left, right, out lane to the left, right. Obviously some pop targets on the left and right. Art does not look that bad for, for this game being the age that it is. There's a kick out there, which is door prize and grave. As you can see, the, the Mo is lighting up to the middle. You have your multiplier two to five times. You also have your bonus, which is to the middle, which is your level. And of course those light up. Kind of quirky this game. It's got some pretty funny uh, sound bites in it. Not necessarily call outs, but the sound bites are pretty funny for what they are. Back glass is beautiful on this thing. A piece of art in its own right. The theme is actually not bad. It's about monsters. How can you go wrong with that? As you can see, going to the hand, there's a ramp that goes up there and it locks. It could kick down to the bottom and come out through your columns. Also, it could also divert. It can divert to uh, your right end lane as well. And of course, you have your le uh, left ramp, which is add letter uh, for coffin wind lit, as well as million wind lit. And that will kick out to the left and then obviously come down to the right side or the left side as well. So other than that, pretty decent game. Check this out, Rec Bar A12. This scores an 8.7 out of 10. So until next time, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, signing off.